All right, so it's uh, another hot Saturday here in Nevada, and I just couldn't help myself from taking on another project with uh, Project Ruby. So, ran to the store um, and grabbed some paint to paint my factory uh, Forerunner wheels. So, somebody has definitely painted these in the past with a silver paint. Didn't do a very good job, so we're gonna step it up a notch. So these are what we're gonna be painting, and uh, let me show you the products we're gonna use today. Okay, so I'm gonna be using exclusively Duplicolor products. Um, the first thing we're gonna do before painting is clean them really well and uh, sand them down, uh, get all the loose uh, old paint off everything, blow it off with air, come back and hit it with some, uh, <clears throat> some alcohol or mineral spirits or something, get it really cleaned. Um, and then I'll uh, hit it with this um, self-etching primer from Duplicolor. And I'll probably do between two to three coats per wheel. Um, and then we'll give it about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna apply the Duplicolor wheel paint. This one happens to be the uh, graphite color. Um, once again, probably two to three coats. And then lastly, we're gonna come back and hit it with their matte wheel um, clear coat. So this will just give it that extra edge of protection. I've used uh, <clears throat> this system in the past on some other products or projects and have had really, really good success with it. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, my son and I are out here gonna get to cleaning these wheels and uh, get them sanded up and, and then move forward with our, with our steps. So Carter and I just sanded down the wheels and the uh, center caps. Um, we used 180 grit sandpaper and, uh, and a red uh, SOS scratch pad to get into all the nooks and crannies. So these things have been sanded to the hilt. We've blown them off with air to get clean. And now I'm just gonna go over them with some acetone. And then there's a few things we have to tape up. Um, your valve stem, just tape that up and then uh, we'll probably stick um, the note cards around the rim of the tire before we start putting our self-etching primer on. So, so that's where we're at now. We're just gonna get everything cleaned up. Make sure you're wearing gloves for this because you don't wanna add any um, of your skin's oils because then you'll run into a, a chance that the paint won't stick. So be liberal with the acetone and get to, get to cleaning and then we can start start painting. Okay, so I've got uh, I've got the wheels all painted, uh, prime painted, and now I'm gonna hit them with some matte clear coat. Um, I'll probably do three coats. So uh, just so you guys know, I used about a can and a half of the etching primer, and I used one can of the Duplicolor wheel color paint, um, this this graphite color, and that was plenty. I did four coats. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. But I'm gonna add this clear coat is uh, just that last final protective uh, coating. So <clears throat> I've been pretty happy with this Duplicolor um, system for the wheels. Uh, hopefully it'll last an awful long time. They, they definitely look a lot better than they did when I started. So nice uh, Saturday project. So we'll go ahead and get started and uh, get this thing wrapped up. Just so you know, it needs a four hour cure time post putting on the clear coat.
finished product. Um, it came out great. The Duplicolor wheel uh, paint kit, um, and I, I really couldn't be happier with it. It's uh, it looks great. It's easy application. So, um, just to clarify, um, it's not actually a, an all-encompassing kit. Um, I use the Duplicolor self-etching primer, the Duplicolor wheel paint in graphite, and the Duplicolor uh, clear matte or clear coat in matte finish. Um, I use about a can and a half of primer, one can of the wheel coat, one can of the the matte clear coat finish. Um, it's on heavy and uh, it applied really great. So I'm super excited about the way it looked. I know it's subtle. My wheels definitely need to be up, upgraded, uh, updated. I was gonna upgrade today. I actually almost bought a set of fifth gen wheels today locally and decided to go ahead and just paint my wheels instead and I'm glad I did I love these old uh, the older classic design Toyota wheels with these five stars so um, pretty happy with how it looks now I just need some 285s and everything will everything will be all right so um, if, you're, if you guys are looking at uh, doing this uh, it took me a few hours to do um, probably an hour and a half of prep work that was the toughest part making sure that they were they were sanded down and clean and and all that so everything else is pretty easy uh, I hope you guys liked the video if you have any questions please um, go ahead and post the questions below and I will get to them uh, and while you're here please like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more updates of Project Ruby and join me and my family in our hunting adventures out west